ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. Hello, this is James Spann. This is the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition. This is for Wednesday, the 7th day of May. Warm is the word today and stormy is the word tomorrow. Let's go to some Skycam shots this afternoon across the great state of Alabama. We'll begin with our uh, sky cam down in Demopolis, looking right down the Tom Bigby River. Got some mid-level clouds around today, but still a good deal of sunshine getting through, and temperatures are way up in the mid-80s. Gulf Shore is looking nice, a sunny spring day there. That's the scene from the top of the Phoenix All Suites, overlooking the Gulf of Mexico, and up in northwest Alabama. Some high clouds there coming from Hamilton, and down below that's traffic on U.S. Highway 78. Here's the upper-level low over Amarillo, Texas today. In advance of that, some very active weather likely. And warm weather, too. Check out the 80s. Uh, these temperatures at uh, uh, 1 o'clock this afternoon. Got 80s uh, well up into Tennessee. And for many Alabama communities, this is the warmest day so far this year. How about that? There's our first severe weather watch of the day. That is a tornado watch for parts of North Texas and South Oklahoma. Uh, that includes places like uh, Dallas, Fort Worth, Sherman Denison, and Ardmore, and Wichita Falls. Uh, we note there is a moderate risk of severe weather now for the rest of this afternoon and tonight around the Arklatex, uh, the general area between Dallas, Fort Worth, and Shreveport in Texarkana, and then surrounding that, a slight risk from near uh, Houston and College Station up to about St. Louis, and that includes Little Rock and Memphis and Tulsa. Tomorrow, there is a slight risk of severe weather for a large part of Alabama and the adjacent states, and we note the probabilities are highest right over us, over North Alabama. A 30% probability of severe weather within five miles of a point, and we'll take a look at that in depth in just a moment here. And uh, then day four, this is Saturday, got a severe weather risk from northeastern Texas up into southern Illinois. And we might see some strong storms on Sunday, no doubt about that. We'll, again, watch that in modeling here. Here's the QPF graphic, the expected rain across the country through Monday morning of next week. And this is suggesting some really big rain from Wichita to New York City. And uh, while the heaviest rain is up north, the amounts here are between 1 and 2 inches, and that would be with the storms we get tomorrow and the storms we get on Sunday. This is the 12Z GFS valid at 1 o'clock tomorrow. The uh, upper level low is opening up in a weakening phase, but passing right through the uh, deep south. And uh, uh, down below that, we've got a surface low near Memphis. And thunderstorms will likely flare in the unstable atmosphere. And uh, we'll take a look at the uh, major severe weather parameters. First off, the CAPE, that's Convective Available Potential Energy. And uh, this is suggesting the CAPEs will be up there uh, around uh, 1,500, 1,000 to 1,500 uh, so certainly that is a decent amount of instability, and the helicity values are still very high. This is the 0 to 3 kilometer helicity. So even though the short wave is in a weakening phase, uh, uh, still, if we get some sunshine tomorrow morning, look out. The uh, capes could be higher than what we've shown here, and certainly with that kind of turning, you have to worry about rotating updrafts, especially if the storms initially are cellular, and we think that they will be. So it might be a deal where uh, uh, severe thunderstorms, maybe a few isolated tornadoes are a problem in the afternoon, then the whole thing evolving into a squall line tomorrow night. So as always, we'll be on our toes for severe weather. Friday, the thing is gone. That looks like a dry day and a warm day. Highs again well up in the 80s. Saturday, starting off the weekend, warm. Only isolated showers, and this is suggesting... Any ones that flare should be south of Montgomery, but I really think most areas will be dry. And again, we'll be well up there in the 80s, maybe upper 80s. And then Sunday, here comes the next short wave. And, and again, the, the GFS has trended a little weaker with this feature. The surface chart shows a surface low over uh, Louisville with a trailing front down through here. And again, this is getting deep into the season here. In May, the instability values can really skyrocket if the sun breaks out and temperatures warm up into the 80s. And we'll just see if it's cloudy all day Sunday, might not be a bad day, but that could be an active weather day. And then Monday of next week, that feature is gone. We are drier and a bit cooler. Uh, Tuesday of next week looks dry. And then Wednesday of next week, strong shortwave digging through here. That looks like it could be a very stormy day. 
Uh, this run a little faster than previous runs, but uh, somewhere around the middle of next week, no doubt a chance of strong to uh, well, maybe severe storms. Thursday the 15th, that storm is on by. And then Friday the 16th, look at that now. we uh, Still we got an upper-level trough to the west. That looks like uh, perhaps another opportunity of wet weather. And then the 17th, that's Saturday, that rain coming through. So uh, some hint of maybe unsettled weather around that weekend there. And toward the end of the cycle on May 23rd, that looks a little summerish. The westerly shifting up north. That looks warm and muggy and maybe a few scattered afternoon showers. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And, of course, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening, and God bless.